Well, many thanks to the IFA for that. And uh, let's take a look at some technology news now. Well, mobile phone manufacturer Huawei has unveiled a new kid on the block, the P30, and the P30 Pro and P30 Lite. Well, the introduction is part of the company's agenda to build an interconnected world through product innovation and to offer competitive products for discerning consumers across segments. Well, the phone is designed to change the user expectations of smartphone photography by achieving the highest camera resolutions. 72,999 and the P30 Lite will be retailing on the pre-order price of 29,000. Well, indeed, some good news for mobile phone enthusiasts. Well, let's take you now to Muranga County, where a lot of developments are happening around the business environment. And our reporter, Stanley Ndishu, now joins us from Muranga to just paint a picture of what transpired earlier today. Well, thank you very much. As you are aware that Kenya economy recorded a, a stronger growth of six, uh, of a rate of 6% in the quarter three of 2018 uh, compared to 4.7% in quarter three of 2017. Uh, this was driven by the favorable agricultural production with less political activities during that time and today during a delegates conference. Amica Sako has released its financial year report addressing some of, of these variant uh, my land of issues affecting this particular sector and Moranga as it is well known is an agricultural hub and contributes very uh, warmingly, overwhelmingly in the country's economy. To give us an insight of exactly the issues pertaining to today's conference that came uh, uh, into play, joining me now is the CEO uh, James Kimani Mbui, thank you very much, sir, for making time with KTN News. Kindly tell us among uh, my round of issues that was spoken, some of them uh, as, as in your statement was uh, the issue of, uh, of uh, uh, crediting uh, to, 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 your, to your clients, middle income earners, uh, low income earners, earners, as well as other sectors in, in, in this region. And Muranga is an agricultural hub. How much has uh, Amica interplayed its activities and uh, its policies within uh, crediting and uh, financing in, uh, farmers in the areas of macadamia, avocado, and uh, milk processing uh, in Moranga? Thank you very much. Um, as you have been told, my name is James Boy, Chief Executive Officer, Amica Service and Credit. And today we have just concluded our annual delegates uh, conference uh, where we were reflecting on our performance for 2018. And 2018 was a much better year than 2017. 2018, the business of Amica in terms of profits was able to grow by uh, about 30 percent uh, compared to the previous year where we, uh, we did barely about 10 percent. And in terms of asset growth and uh, deposit growth, we have done over 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 10 percent. And uh, this is has mainly been driven by um, uh, the, the the income from uh, what we call non-funded income, and also aggressive um, collection of our of, of our loans that had gone bad in 2017. Because 2017 was uh, a fairly difficult year because of a lot of political activity that was extended for almost a whole year. But in 2018, we have seen a lot of improvement. Well, time for our weekly dose of Captains of Industry. This week on the program, we feature Jeff Aludo, who is a director at Intel Cap Africa. He has a focus on technology, organization, and strategic transformation. Aludo is this week's Captains of Industry guest. Brenda Karubo, over to you. Do you always spend most of your time in the library? Well, I, I would like to say so, but <laughs> not really. I, and, and I think I Do you always spend most of your time in the library? Well, I, I would like to say so, but <laughs> not really. I, and, and I think I love reading. Yes. Uh, reading is something I really like, but we know that things are going digital now. So yeah. I do like to be in the library. There's a flair about being here that is quite peaceful, helps you really get the reading in. But I do most of my reading at home, 
quiet places in the park. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have a background in strategy and investments. Yeah. Talk to me about your best project so far. Well, I think that's changed. So probably if you had asked me that question about five years ago, I would tell you that there's some really good strategy work that I have done for private companies. And that's really helping a lot of the people that are running great businesses here, yeah, including banks, which kind of talks to, you know, uh, my interests around helping banks give more financial funding to micro, small, medium enterprises. And so we've worked with some of the banks to create SME strategies, which basically says what's the value proposition for going to small businesses and not just measuring them using the traditional ways, but kind of supporting them through the process. So de-risking, so you're not being, you're not measuring them to the same standard. So that was great. I think now I would say some of the best strategies is more around public private programs, mm -hmm. putting together strategies that say, how can government and private sector partner a lot better? Talking about SMEs, what makes a good idea? How do you sell a good idea as an entrepreneur? Well, I'll tell you what, Brenda, there is, um, you know, clearly to, to, to drive the ent entrepreneurship ecosystem, you need ideas, uh, you need capital, uh, and then of course you need uh, a great market knowledge, right, proposition. But um, ideas is not a problem for Africa. This is what we've come to find out. They're great ideas here. They are people, and it's, I think it's because of Africa's, call it um, in a way in a nascent stage, we need to develop a lot of our markets. So it's very easy to say, I need to put a hospital here in this county, or I need to stop food loss here so that we can feed more people. So the ideas are there. Where, what we think we need to do more as, as people who are helping in this space is help people sell those ideas. Mm, and what exactly do investors want? I mean, you can pitch for the idea, but what exactly do investors want? What do they ask for when it comes to, you know, uh, looking at an idea and looking if it's viable? What exactly do they look out for? Well, you know, there, there are two types of investors. The traditional, what I'd probably call, you know, conventional you know, investor is going to look for the typical things. Where do I put my money? How can I get good return out of it? And then, of course, how quick is my payback period? So how quickly do I break even and get out? So there, there has to be an exit strategy. But we're also now, as uh, you know, where I work at IntelliCap now, we're driving for what we call impact investing. In fact, running a forum currently called Suncop that's driving for more impact investing that's driven towards youth, women, and, and other areas. So we are finding a lot more investors now are asking themselves, it's not just about commercial return, but what is the social impact of what I'm doing? That means spending not just a typical three, four years, maybe you know, seven years, which we've done ourselves as investors um, with IntelliCap, uh, spending a little bit more time so that you can support those people. Thank you so much, Brenda, for that captivating captains of industry. Of course, make a date with us as well as 9 p.m. where we'll be having the same running as well. Well, that's all the time we had for here on KTN Business today. My name is Abi Agina. Coming up next is our Swahili team with more news from across the world.